the texture on this C-mount. <clears throat> Nav, what is the depth of the uh, hustle here target we're aiming for? Uh, stand by, check that. Um, what are we at now? We're at 1975, say. Um, like 1910s and 1920, I think. Okay, thank you. Yeah. We have to count contours, it's not very slick. Sure. <laughs> All right, so the uh, dinner relief is All right. coming back. Yeah. Uh, thank hand you. over while we're hustling. Bye. Been fun. Thanks for the joy ride. And as soon as the dinner watch changes, it gets more <laughs> sedimented uh -huh. and a little bit different texture. Although it seems maybe we're coming up on a slightly shallower uh, slope area. Oh, there's a nice community. Yeah, here we go. Back in some corals and some large... Mm -hmm. Polypog on sponges. Could do what? A lot of black corals. Black corals and polyopagon sponges. Okay, you're back at the correct heading. They're just looking any which way. <coughs> what? They're just looking any which way. Who knows I know. what they're looking <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> the free for all. <laughs> you crave adventure we could spice it up a bit on our watch <laughs> it's a rather nice large bamboo coral yeah with an interesting little oh there we go that makes more sense Sea star down below mm -hmm. on the rock. Oh, yeah. A couple of those bathy pathy black corals. <clears throat> Ooh. Is that a bubble gum? Could be anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can't remember what Chris just described, but the difference between the Paragorge Day and the. the this, how to tell those two apart. Mm -hmm. Bubblegum. Coraleid, maybe? Coraleid, right. Thank I think you. The Paragorgia was redder. Redder, right. That's the bubblegum. Your favorite, yeah. Trevor. My favorite. I'm learning so much about it. I don't even like bubblegum. Oh, it's a beautiful leaf sponge off in the distance. Yeah. Is this one of those ones with the two. Uh huh. Looks like cords? it. I don't know what those things are called. The inny, outy bits? Yep. Polyopagon with the double, two concave surfaces. Yeah, concave services is a much better way to say it than any outie bits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice coral up here. Look at that. Yeah. Trevor, I'm going to reset, okay? Raj. Oh, it looks like that bamboo coral was completely, is that one on the left? On the completely left. Yeah. eaten? Denuded. Yeah. Denuded. Sea star ate that whole thing. The evil star. Yeah. The evil star. Yeah, definitely di different diversity of corals 
and sponges here than we were seeing yesterday. Quite a few more black corals. That's a pretty big leaf sponge. Leaf sponge. What's this thing right beside the black coral? Um, Zoom in there, please. <coughs> oh, oh, yeah. That's a different. That's, uh, like it almost looks like a sea pen. I don't remember Ooh. seeing those recently or ever. Okay, I'm going to move along. Thanks. Yep. Hope someone at least got a look at that. And say, it's wow. like a <coughs> coral drive by. Yep. I think that is a, a schizopathidae. Schizopathidae? I've never yes. heard of that. Yes. Schizopathidae. Mouthful. I'm not sure of the species. But that's a type of black coral. Let me know if I can take bubble at some point to look do at gauges. It, do okay. it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Neat little gap here. Mm hmm That's a cool sponge in the little little canyon there. Yeah. Mm. It's not a leaf sponge, it's something else. Is there another another sponge on top of that sponge? Uh-huh. Or two? Behind it. Maybe yeah. on it. On it, yeah. On it, yeah. Good eye. So we've seen a few things that are um Oh, like this one. Pretty unusual, and there's the abundance is picking up. Um, do you think if we slowed down about here, we'd still be able to make the summit by, say, midnight tonight? Is that a possibility? Yes, we would. We'd also be still going fast. If we slow down right now, we'll be going fast for another 150, 200 meters. Uh -huh. That's fine. There was some enormous sponges. Would you like us to stop then? It's not so much stopping. Oh, Maybe we can slow different. down a little bit so we're able to stop and do close-ups. So that, that will involve a stop and then a restart. I see. Uh, it's not a big deal. Um, that's it, totally we're going to yeah. still coast for 100 meters. Um, I'm going to stop us, okay? Okay, that would be fine. Bridge nav, hold position. So, of course. How far is the ship from the, from the summit? Uh, from the summit? Stand yeah. by. Uh, center of ship from there, 740 meters ish. Cool. Well, we did 1,200 meters. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Good, good hustling. Yeah. We, maybe we had to slow down uh, just a little bit and see. Yep. Th there was some enormous trumpet-shaped sponges that I've never seen in my life before. Of course, while I'm eating dinner. Perfect. <laughs> the ones we flew by. <laughs> yeah, you flew by. Uh, I couldn't believe my eyes. I got up to actually look at the screen because I wasn't sure wow. what I was seeing. Were you shouting and shaking your fist at the screen? No. Um, <laughs> he was shaking a drumstick, a chicken <laughs> drumstick, actually. Well, it was the shish kebab, I the think. The shish kebab, yes. Anyway, I'm seeing uh, some unusual things here in general. So Yeah, it's a lot of yeah, unique black corals exciting. we haven't seen yeah. before. On yeah, this. Things have definitely picked up, so it's worth sort of going a little bit slower here after we made up some ground through the... But dry area. Uh, we're also on the lookout for another rock, but I think you have some of those sponges coming up on yeah, the I wonder, right. Let's see. I don't know if it's possible to take a look at that one. Take a look at it. Sure. Yeah. Take a look. yeah. Okay. Zoom in, please. All right, this is turbocharger. Huh. All it's right, come wide, please. It's actually a sponge we've collected a couple times, and we don't. It doesn't have a name. It's in the family Furiedi, and we just call it Furied turbocharger. What's the turbocharge? 
somebody saw it and thought it looked like a turbocharger. Um, mm -hmm. And so it's stuck. That's what it is for now. It's not a species name. It's just, a, you know, it's like a radar sponge or turbocharger day. Yeah, turbocharger day. So we're also on the lookout for another rock or two for Andrea, of course. And we'll keep our eyes open for that now that we're going at a little slower pace. I think we'll probably be settled out from the ship move in, I don't know, 10 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. And then we can start doing nice slow moves. Sure, that would be great. Thank you. Sample friendly. So we're still a ways from the summit. It's just that we kind of sped things up during sort of a slow period or, or a little bit of lower density area of this small ridge feature and then kind of got into a little bit better area. That's that's our plan here for those of you watching. <coughs> better in terms of the diversity of biology. So, Chris, a viewer wants to know why bamboo corals create nodes. Create what? Nodes? Uh-huh. Uh, I'd like to know that myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not a very good person to ask that question of, but it's a very good question. I don't understand mm -hmm. why they do that either, I'm afraid. Maybe it's sink to a reproductive event where they're putting more energy and therefore less calcium mm -hmm. and building their skeleton. When oh, there's a, is that a feather star on that yep. coral? Okay. Yep, feather star is really pretty. Beautiful bamboos. Here's a beautiful coralid. So this is clearly a good spot to slow down. Things have definitely picked up. Oh, oh that or it's orange. Oh, is it wow. orange? Yeah. That oh, E.T. That was cool. Yeah, it's <sighs> probably ET, so that'd be Advena Magnificus. That just got named this past year, I believe it was, by some researchers, I think, that were in uh, China that got some specimens and did all the work to describe that one. Well, you can see from her view here that this was the perfect time to slow down. Oh look no. at that. We have potential rocks in view. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, was that a jelly? Uh, I mean, are we slow start? enough to collect or still need to slow down a bit more? We can collect now. There was one that went off screen if you want to. Uh, let's down. keep going. Let's find, uh, we're slow oh, enough okay. to collect or go backwards, but not both. Okay. Let's see here. How about that one, right? By the lasers. Is that too big or is that... It's kind of big, I guess, huh? Did you spot that one? Yeah. Is that... That, that might... Well, what do you think? I'm not even sure it's free. Okay. Onward and upward. Is that a big sponge coming up? Yeah, look at these. Hmm. Sponges and really big corals are about the only thing you can see in the Argus view because it's quite a bit higher than the than the Hercules. Mm -hmm. Pot-bellied sponge, uh, Hyalonema corinonema, that's coming right by the lasers right now. Right. 
be some hunting grounds coming up sort of on that little terrace. Looks like there might be some rocks over there. Where are you seeing rocks? Yeah, up above the lasers, up on that little terrace slope, the sandy. Oh, yeah. Oop. Yeah, we can totally try one of those. Okay. Can you come down on Delta, please? Yeah, I'm just not sure that that sand filling up the pillow, filling in between the pillows, though. You want to try grabbing one of these? No, I don't think they're going to come loose. I think we got to try to find something that gets really broken off. Thank you. have something. How about the uh, uh, sediment and <coughs> sediment and encrusted oh, what sponge? What about this guy in the corner there, right, right in the edge? There's something there. Let's go down and check it out. Oh, and there's some also right here. Is a nice square one. I mean. Whatever you'd like. Yeah, how about that one to the yeah. left? Just behind so the bamboo? Right there, yeah. Okay. It's got some girth to it. If it's free. Okay, you're good for the arm. Get the arm out and I'll tell you. Get the arm out and I'll tell you. I'm messing with Argus a little bit, just so you know. We're just messing with Argus a little bit. We hope that it's free. Uh-oh. How about the one next to Ooh, it? Is it Just attached? Left? The one right, yeah, right there. Let's see if by any chance that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'll go. Oh, it will? Yeah. It's just a little sticky. There you go. Nice. Could we take a look at it, spin it up? Yeah. Is this going in the forward box or the uh, forward box or starboard box? I guess the question is, is, is this a forward box or starboard box? box? Um, there's room in either one, actually. But is this a bath rock? Uh, this no, this is a Andrea rock. I think is. Don't you think? Is it? Hey, zoom in, please. Oh, is that hollow? Boy, I don't know. I I was going to let Beth um, pick her own rocks. Okay. She, she knows what she's... It wasn't hollow. Wasn't, wasn't that just a shadow? Or Okay, looks, you want to keep it? Looks yeah, cool. I think I do. Yeah, okay, let's come go ahead. wide, please. Tip it to bring his arm down a bit. Like the forearm, yeah. Otherwise, you'll make the mistake I did yesterday. <laughs> so is that coral there, is that Coralidae or Paragorgidae? Are we going to put this in Foxtrot or Echo? Oh, sorry. Um, Foxtrot is open. Foxtrot, Roger. Yeah. Far this aft one. I don't know. Probably Corality, I think. Corality? Yeah.
bring it in just a bump. Good job. Nice job. Yeah, nice shot. Nice, 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 nice sample, Antonella. Now a sample um, number 100. 100. Zero, zero. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ready for dive? Oops, sorry. Looks good. Okay, I'm going to move along. All right, we are all settled. So you just want to do some slow steps, but still up the ridge? Sure, that would cool. work. Thank you. Uh, maybe start with this base down here, if it's well possible, done, over Nella. to the right. Is that possible or not? Sponge down to the right? Yeah, that guy yep. right there. Can I get a bubble of front porch, please? Where are you? There you are. You can find me on Argus too if you want. We're done the we're done high speed maneuvers so we can um, switch it up. I just to give you a heads up, I suspect I'm gonna request a collection event here. Okay. Okay. They could take a little zoom on it just to make sure. Yes, this is a problematic sponge. A problematic Very sponge. Problematic. <laughs> um, maybe a nice chunk off of that top where you get both the inside and outside sort of in the top of the rim would be great. That's possible. Oh boy. Okay. It's going to be brittle or hard and you have to be a little careful because the whole sponge might come off of the rock. It's Depending on how Raj. you break it, you know what I mean? If you could sort of... I'm not doing this very well. Let me try that again. Take two. That's better. That's an interesting structure. It's kinda, yeah, it kinda... is. I'm pretty sure it's in the family Eurydidae, but I just... Uh, this has been one that's been very puzzling. I think it's the same one that's been very puzzling to us for quite a while. And we've never sampled it. That's part of the problem. Mm. Just make sure all those cords are as wrapped as possible. That'd be ideal. <laughs> so I'll get the arm out and then we'll do another good zoom on it before I get too crazy. Yeah, and if we could get a whole colony and then a tight close-up. Yeah, there's great. your lasers to start off with. Okay. Turn the lasers off and let's see how we can do for a whole colony. Okay, go ahead and zoom, please. Very nice. And anywhere particularly you want to zoom on all the way? Um, maybe up toward the, the transparent rim. That would allow us to see a little bit of the framework. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is absolutely a hard sponge. It's, it's going to have a, a, a brittle or hard framework. I just don't know how thick it is. And, um, okay, come on, I don't please. think it's just come completely crumble, but it will break. It won't be spongy. It won't tear off. It'll break off. Roger. And we're going to put this in the starboard side? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, what box? Um, we have box A or B open. Roger that. Oh, yep. Bravo. Can I get a half zoom, please? How about like right there, Chris? That looks really good. Okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's very gelatinous. Yeah, it's going to be a very brittle guy. 
I cannot guarantee that I'm going to get this into the box for you. You got it. Oh. Well, <laughs> I'll get the manip over there, but it might get, you know, it might have someone look at it wrong and it'll fly away. Yeah, I think that will not make it. <clears throat> it's uh, a lot more brittle than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I almost wonder if we'd be better off slurping. It's breaking apart with no, like nobody's business. So it's it might break up in the tube, but I don't think it's going to make it to the box. It's it's up to you if you want to try slurping. I think I'd be more likely to have success with slurping. So how would you do this? Aren't you holding it where you'd hold this, or you put it in front of the slurp? That's put it in front of the slurp, yeah. Okay. Sure, let's try that. Yeah, in order to stay on this little slope, I'm using some of the thrusters. I secured one of them, but I can only do so much, and then it's gonna it's gonna fly away. So, what jar can we use? Um, we have jar two open. Jar two sounds good. Yeah. Okay, zoom in please, video. And good there, yeah. Let's start slow on this, maybe 30%, please. Okay. Oh my god. Hang on. Hanging. That did not go to 30. Roger. Uh, there's 30. That was weird. Yeah, let's get more. Okay. Let's do 60. I don't know. There it is. Yep. Boom. Mm. Stuff that one in. The skinniest part of this tube is the entrance. So in theory, if it makes it past the entrance, it makes it the whole way. Wow. That's some nice big nice. in there. Well. Some pro pretty, slurp in there. Pretty bashed up, but at least you'll have the <coughs> material you need, I hope. Yeah, that's fine. This is what these guys always do. Kind of. Okay. Come wide, please. Uh, no, I want to do something different. There you go. <laughs> okay, you can probably turn off the slurp now. And then we should definitely flush it after this one because yep. there's going to be some bits in there. Yeah, thank you for, for doing that. That was good. Yeah. And the sponge lives another day. Just got a little haircut. Mm -hmm. Just flush it now. Nice. Yeah. It'll be fine. Okay. Line this up. Okay, I'm on my way. Uh, thank you. All right. Want to have a look around before we start moving? You think we're good? The science real question? Um, yeah, I'm I'm actually looking around Report myself course. there. Um, not seeing tons on Argus, so I guess we should. I would tell you that the most likely situation to have stuff is up this way. Okay. We got a little bit of a small cliffish wall to Argus's port side. You're just slow. Mostly west. All right, you want to go west? Um, I'm just thinking I should go west because Argus is 20 meters from a cliff wall. Okay. So I'll get up there and see what it's like, and we can poke around more or move, put a ship move in. So that's a dead one of those sponges. They turn brown when they die. Mm. Just a this is not the way to the summit, but might be the way to the top of the ridge as we go up. You can bring your head around. Okay. Cucumber. A little oh, I see. Sea cucumber. Yeah. yeah I... That one looked small enough to fit in the slurp. Hey, don't don't you tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> you want to? 
Um, I barely got a glimpse of it. I was looking elsewhere, and I just caught it. We it was like the other one. Look. It was like the other one we tried to get in there, but it was too big. This one looked like it was. Uh, yeah. So that's why you said he should try it again. <coughs> okay. Yeah. I, I get it. It's coming up in a few seconds here. <coughs> yeah, right there. Uh -huh. um, if we can zoom that. Yeah, I'll put the lasers on it too. Ooh, it might. Mm, no, that's still going to plug the pipe. That's probably six centimeters wide. We could still zoom if you'd like. Sure. That okay, go ahead, too. Yeah, he is too large. Oh, that's, slight, that's a different one. Yeah. Uh, this is one that's got these discs, which I've forgotten what the name of them is called. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Come on. Okay, so we got some sponges up on this ridge top here. Do you want me to follow this and keep heading towards Summit? Or yeah, what do you, you want? see that bowl-shaped one? Yep. That may be one of the ones that we saw that I was almost gagged on downstairs. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Or it could be just a polyopagon in a weird configuration, but it's worth checking out. You bet. So you want like a 10 meter step in your heading, along your heading? Uh, sure, yeah, that'd be good, please. Okay. Yeah, what, 260? Uh, wishful, yeah. th wishful thinking. Sorry, it's a polyopic gun. So it's Bridge got a little nav. pointy hat, though. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Can I get a 1-0 meter step bearing 260? It's a nice looking one. What's the little purple thing underneath it? Ooh, good the eye. The red thing? That's a paragorgia. Oh, to beside the that. purple thing. Purple or red? Purple. purple. Oh. Oh, the I'll little, it's a urchin? That's a urchin, I think. I think so. Oh. Yeah, let's go ahead and zoom okay, on this. Zoom in now, please. Uh, I think it's called Tromicosoma, and we are not collecting that. Or if we do, somebody else is going to handle it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, please. Mm -hmm. Whoever good. wants it has got to process it, and good luck with that. Good to know your limits, Chris. <laughs> I like my hands, and I like my hands not swollen into uh -huh. gigantic orbs, so mm -hmm. thank you very much. Have you considered not stabbing yourself with it? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're kind of hard not to. they got kind of a lot of spines. I was going to say, is that your standard operating procedure for all sampling, is to see how stabby they are? <laughs> yeah, so that's why I prefer not to use gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding out there. It's all through personal sampling technique. Right. <laughs> Okay, once you finish the uh, step, let's it. move towards Summit. Okay. Is that so it? Cinelac today? That's the guy, and we know him to family only, that cucumber, but, you know. Yeah, a tiny bit more action up here than there was just down at that uh, sponge sample area. Uh-huh. Cinelac today. That's the... Oh, drats, I was just about to. <laughs> That's one of the yellow sponges we collected to the right. Oh, I'm yeah. Mistaken. I was actually considering doing a reenactment of Chris uh, collecting a, an urchin. Now would be the time. <laughs> All right, we're going to be doing 323. Three. 323, three, three, Roger. Uh, two zero meters sound good. Yep. Bridge now, two zero meter step, bearing 323. Three. So that looks like that spongy collected. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know it is. That's why I just wanted sponge. to see this a little bit more. Another, <laughs> another colony of this very curious sponge. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Yeah. Oh, this one's got little crabs living in it. I just don't know. Is that? I think it's the same thing. I just don't understand what's going on. Mm. Could it? Could it be older? Uh, it could be. It look, It looks darker yellow. Well, I don't think it's a a dead or dying Farinimatid, but if it is, I'll know instantly under the microscope. 
So it sure looks like it's unique and it's alive. So it's just a very raggedy sponge. All right, I should probably go where I'm supposed to. Three, three, <laughs> two, three. Yep, three, two, three. If you're watching on the quad, you can see our two awesome scientists who give all the information. So if that's on the lower left-hand corner, oh, you guys want to wave. You guys, <laughs> man, you gotta <laughs> all up, but, uh, man. Got the food debris off well, the shirt. How can you tuck in your stomach when you just came from a big dinner? Oh, your stomachs like aren't, aren't in the... Oh, okay, all right. It's, like, just your, a it's like your shoulders up. Stomach okay. can't. It's just the upper it third. You're right here. Where is it? Right oh here. dear, oh no. Oh, oh, oh heavens. <laughs> the viewers want to know who's who's given all the facts. Who's Chris? Yeah. Who's Andy? Bridge and I have another <laughs> step same <same> bearing. <laughs> Thank you. Polyapagon. Polyapagon. Everybody's going to know that. I know, it's just so fun to say. I know, it's going to be a jingle. Uh huh. Polyapagon. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh. see, we got Andrea one rock. We can get her a rock later on, I think, t toward the end of our shift. I think one more. I don't know. Or what do you think? Is this pretty good hawk? You, ne you just never know what's up ahead. Is this good rock? I was pulling you. Yeah, sorry. Um, what's that, Chris? I'm just saying you never know what's ahead and how consolidated it is. Is this a good possible rock collecting area we can collect rocks wherever you'd like meaning let's, sure let's try here if you let's want let's try one more she she one asked more. me if we could grab two of them for that her there, that's fine this is a uh, andrea rock yes andrea rock i actually think um beth is gonna have more luck toward the summit for what she's looking for mm. uh, i can't say that for sure but Don't worry, I've taken it off your faces now. You can, huh. you can go back to... Picking our noses? Yep. <laughs> All right, what about that one just above the uh, little bumper there? Can you come down to Delta, please? Just below the laser, or even on the lasers. Yeah, what about I that? see that. Wow. That's a pretty angular. Looks like a piece of a pillow. Yeah. Yeah, we could give it a try. Sure. I'm going to mess with Argus's heading. Keep Hercules in view. I got it. You, just work. you can do the arm, I'll do the other stuff. Dr. Randy Kosaki, who's our shoreside science party, says he wants some more fish. <laughs> He missed out on the fish. We had some. I some wonder if he saw that weird, weird one earlier on our shift on this dive. Remember uh -huh. that? This one, right? Yeah. Uh, down one, I think. Down. Yeah, down one. A blocky uh, one. Blocky one. Oh, okay. Yep, that's, that's it. it. Aaron, could you zoom on Argus, please? I need a little focus too. Yeah, I was getting that. Roger. I was looking at the different cameras to make sure they're all good. Yeah, you got the monitor right there. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a gotcha rock behind there. Nice. Right on. Oh, no. What did the grip walk ever take? No, 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 no. Whee! All right. You're getting it closer to the box. Yeah. <laughs> <Golf>. <laughs> and watch that coral. It's between your jaws right now. 
The floating one? Yep. It's on a stock. On a stock. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. You can ask for zooms if you need them too. Yeah, can you get a half zoom, Aaron? Thanks for pointing that out. I thought it was floating. Black coral is almost worth collecting. It had a squat lobster on it. It's some type of umbelulu. I uh, know uh, umbelopathy. Sorry. Oops. And if you're not happy with the grip, you can put it on the porch. I might. Just trying to go around this coral guy. I can't tilt the camera anymore right. Dang it. So gonna... Okay. Yeah, that's good. I can slide back a bit. Bonk. Come wide, please, on video, on Herxus. Uh, hold on a sec. Get out of there for a sec. Oh, you have it in your hands. All right. I have it. Okay. Okay. Hold your arm for a sec. I got to reland. Halted. Did you want to zoom on this once you've landed? Yeah, if you could, please. Yeah, Roger, okay. stand by. Okay, I'm ready. ready. You guys okay. call it. Go ahead and zoom, Aaron. Nice. Lovely. Okay, can we put that in Foxtrot? Yeah, there's room in, in Foxtrot for that. Okay, great. Definitely check out uh, the Argus view if you're watching the <coughs> online. Ready for sample salvo when you are. Go ahead on sample. Can you move bubble up so yep. I can see the arm? Thank you. Look at the dust storm I'm creating there. That's just something. You can bump the box okay. out. Okay. I'm gonna try and keep it as closed as possible because of the floaties yep. and my massive thruster ridge. Have enough, or do you want a bit more? I'm ready. Nice. Good job. Oh, Sorry. Nicely done. That's Nothing broke. To do. Nothing broke. It's all good. Okay, you Kay. can close it. Okay, I'm ready for dive when you're ready. Uh, why is it? Hang on. There we go. Uh, yeah, go ahead on dive. That was 102, yeah? Yes, 102. Now you can do it from Argus view if you're really mm. keen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well there. Can we get a little more zoom on Argus, please? <laughs> it's definitely not oh, easy because it's backwards.
shouldn't be using that. <laughs> okay. Okay, right on. Uh, I'm gonna go for white on Argus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can give me bubble on the porch. Yep. And we're good to take off. Um, okay, you want to keep moving up slope? Yep. Uh, yes, please. Okay, I think we're good for that, Aaron. Bridge two zero meters three two three. Nice job. Thanks. We had a Pretty comment here from Oops, go ahead. Ken Sulak. Oh. It's about that uh, Corphanoides macroridae. We saw at the beginning of the dive the macroridae no, corphanoides. Back on the no, follow your heart. Okay. I, I just like that for when we're going really fast. Gotcha. There's some fun sonar during that. The Argus got uh, sonar got oh. maybe not 10, but 15 meters from the wall, which is mm. totally fine. Oh, what is that stuff, Chris? That kind of oh. gr green I was composited, I decomposed stuff. <sighs> <laughs> oh, is that a sponge? It's, it's one of these yellow ones. Uh huh. I just hope it isn't some decomp stage. Huh? One of those big polyapa. But well, we have so bright yellow versus some of these. Yeah, but we haven't seen anything that it would have decomposed from. Right. And right. That down below looks more like what you'd expect it to look like. Uh oh. Oh well. Oh well. Driver's head stuff. Oh, they send more of those sponges. Little different, bigger pores. Uh, bathopathies and black corals. What's that uh, what's feathery white one? What is that? Uh, probably a bamboo. There's another. What is that thing? Ooh. Could we take a look at this? No, it's the same thing. But it is the same, just stock, different, smaller. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad we sampled it. That's That's a real weirdy. A little anemone below I that uh, polyapagon sponge. Yeah, this this area is turning out to be a pretty nice site. I mean, it doesn't have the humongous um, numerical abundance of the other site, but it's got a lot of diversity. It's different, and it's different diversity than yeah. than what we saw on the other dives. Uh -huh. 1969. I don't know. You shouldn't pick. Pick that. I'm worried that yellow one is not what I think it is. Getting worried. <laughs> After once again, it's it may be my my sponge version of the sperm whale sighting. Oh no. Okay, to keep going. Yep. Bridge and have another two zero meters three two three. Look at this that little vent here. That's what it looks like to me. Uh huh. Volcanic vent or lava, presumably. Was Is that what we're up. looking at? This little circle here? I think so, yeah. Looks like a small vent. Hmm. Doesn't it? Oh, what's that sponge underneath the bathopathies? Mm. Uh, Good eye. Low left center, lower left center. Right oh, underneath right up for that, that rock ledge. Two different oh. species of bamboos bracketing it. Oh, I can't come down anymore. Um, zoom in, please. Right on top of a sponge, too. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, okay, come wide, sorry. I don't want to squish this stuff underneath me. Uh, let's skip. So you play blue. You play today? Is it no, that's a not? hard sponge. Hard sponge? Yeah, that one's going to be in the Septulophora. And it's either going to be a free it or a you read it, I think. Slightly less so, but yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to forget that I saw that sponge. Like, kind of like that. That's, no, that's a little different. Uh, that's a red sea star on the rock. You can mm -hmm. I'll circle it with yellow. It's circled. Did you want to zoom on the circle? Yeah, let's zoom. Okay, zoom in the star, please. The unassuming 
ferocious predator of the deep. It <laughs> is, and he's not on a coral. Oh, he is? He's just finished digesting that black oh. coral. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that's that bamboo. Is? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's either, it's not a bamboo, though. I don't see any nodes. Oh. Do you, Chris? Do you see any? I don't know what it is. I had to have been something living at some it's point. Not grass. So yeah, it's the grass. It looks, looks like, like grass. After Thanksgiving. This, this yeah. sea star <laughs> is a uh, hippie aster, and I will get, show a picture okay. of it. Thank you. Thank you. It's a yeah. goniasterid. Like I finished that thing off. Done. So it's probably even a hippie. Uh, excuse me, hippie asteria musipula. That's the guy right there. Yeah, it's amazing. These these sea stars, they can stay balanced on these uh, what appears fragile coral strands and just digest them Thanks, Chris. over the course of months, basically. Slow motion predation. You know what I think would be really neat is you put a little, time you'd lapse. have to place it with an ROV. You'd place a time-lapse camera, have it strobe every that would be day cool. or so, and then have it float up and recover after a month or so. They mm -hmm. did some really cool time lapses in this PVC program in Antarctica with sea stars and it was so cool. Yeah, I think I saw that. That was that was neat. Yeah. They I all came flooding in. Yeah. I've seen some of that with sea stars off of Pearl Harbor too that somebody deployed. It was a student project oh, and it was gorgeous. really cool. Very interesting to watch them move around. Capture that kind of. Yeah. Oh, those are you okay for a reset? Yeah. This is turning out to be a pretty nice spot. It is. It's gorgeous. Really diverse. Yeah. I mean, even a little GoPro has the ability to do time lapses, so you can, can kind of mess with it yourself, can't you? Get a 2,000 yeah. meter rated GoPro and... No, no, not here. He was talking about, like, oh, the, the shallower yeah, water. Shallower yeah. water, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you just throw it in the ocean. <laughs> so we all act really snooty and say... Thousand meters is pretty shallow water for us. It's kind <laughs> of snooty. It isn't. Maybe about two hundred meters might be a bit shallow. Bridge nav, another two zero meters, three two three. So these sponges that we collected, I'm glad we got it. There's a fair number of them around. This is another one of those. It's a bigger colony leaning toward us. Same sort of stocked, very fragile vase. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this is so much more diverse than that other. I mean, the other site was abundant, certainly, but it didn't have nearly as many species. It's definitely richer here. Well, there's. Um, so there's a coral under the ledge. See this guy right here? Yeah, fluffy one, yeah. You could do a zoom on that. Is that a, sp it's a sponge or a coral? It's a it's coral? A, it's a coral. I think it's going to be Rodana ritigorgia, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, zoom in there, please. Oh, beautiful. Well, mm. no, it's a ritigor. Well, that's... Let's see the spiraling, uh, spiraling stem. I have a bit more zoom if you want it. Uh, Go ahead. I'm not sure that's going to help my brain oh. <laughs> at all. But well, you're you. getting it. You're getting it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. It's pr beautiful. So I don't think this is the same thing. I think this is something like Rodana Ritigorgia or some other thing. So as you can see, the actual twists in it are much straighter. It's kind of almost a little, a little wavy branch, not this big spirally branch. And that's kind of characteristic of... The genus Rodana Ritigorgia, if I remember right. Wow, look at that one rock. It's got like 15 different species on it. There's another of those little, little pudgy sponges underneath the ledge there, Chris. The little round ones with the... You call them pudgy? Yeah, pudgy? look pudgy. A little pudgy. Good, good way little to put it. Pudgy <laughs> pudge. You mean those those vases up ahead? Uh, no, no, it, we passed it. It was just underneath the ledge. Um, so we didn't get the pudgy sponges? No. Nope. Bridge nav, another two zero meters, three two three. Uh, this okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with the um, Rodan or Gorge on that thing. So. It's There's a larger one of those sponges, Chris, down the. Oh, yeah. Is that dead right or is that. Right lower dead? center. Uh, that's dead. It's dead. Yeah. We could go down and take a look at this because. Yeah, you bet. This would be polyopagon for sure. And hopefully it doesn't look like our yellow new one. <laughs> <laughs> a little tense here. Uh oh. No, I don't think Zoom so. In, the pores are kind of kind of kind of distinct and large. That looks dead. I see the uh yeah. the feet. Is that right? Yeah. Oh bonk. I, I just don't think it's the same thing, but I, I don't know. I'm confused. Okay, come wide, please. Steve has a comment on that last coral. He says he's leaning towards Rodan and Gor Rodan and Gorgia. Well, that's what, you, that's what you were saying, yeah. yeah I, I agree with Steve. I'm on the fence about that, too. It's, it'd be sort of question mark. Rodan or Gorgia question mark. But the spirals clearly were it was less spirally, which is characteristic of that genus. Um, you see that whip that the lasers just went by? These have been driving me crazy. I just want to confirm there. The curly bamboos, one? Bamboos, yeah. And even that straight one next to it. Go ahead and zoom. It's pretty far away, but... Yeah, that's fine. Just so we can... Oh, darn it, it is a uh, Candidella gigantea. I'm trying to figure out whether that was a bamboo or a... I'll bet the other one is two. Another one up to the left here? Yeah. Come out a little bit? I can't remember. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, come wide, please. Thank I'm you. Go. Oh, and the one right above it. But yeah, that's good. Okay, that answers that. It just didn't quite look right. Mm. Well, look at that. that. There's another one of those sponges the uh -huh. growing on the polyepigon. Yeah, the stocked bases. And another stock base. This one looks like it's been half eaten and then the predator bails. Oh yeah, right there. Uh, wow. Or something swam by and took the center of it out. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. what, uh, or a rock fall. A rock fall could a rock could have gone through it. Uh -huh. The rock uh, formations around here are really incredible. You can just definitely see it in Argus view. Yeah. Up it's a really crumbly. Too. There's all these little micro chasms, canyons, whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quite beautiful. The topography and, and the biology coupled are, are really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely provides a lot of little micro habitats for all these different species. Yeah, yeah and we're still a ways from the summit as well. We're actually going to... Oh, there is... That, no, that's a coral, sir. Um, we're actually going to come up to a little plateau. We're about to get to it. We'll run across that for a ways, and then we'll make a climb toward the summit after that. What was that, the trumpet-shaped sponge down there again? What was the you one mean the one, one we collected, the uh, one I saw during dinner? The one right there in the lower Again. center, center uh, lower part. This thing down here? Yeah. Uh -huh. I could take a look at that if That's possible. Seems fine. Can you come down a little bit on Delta, please? All right, I'll have a look at the sponge, then I can... Like, Get okay. back to where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, thank you. Snap, zoom, how to do it. Okay, zoom in there, please. Fighting it. Uh, it's a little different, but that's okay. It's still one of these. It could be the same, which is the different opening. Mm. So, okay, thanks thank very you. much. That'll do it. A little stalked crinoid, too, down, down there. Ooh. There's a the large. Are these dead polyopagons. Polyopagons. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello. 